support and help the channel grow by liking this video. What's up everybody? I was working for five weeks really hard and last week was supposed to be my week to get caught up with all these videos that I wanted to make for you guys so you could chill and have some great ASMR. But I've been sick and laying in bed, quarantined, <clears throat> trying all sorts of wacky breathing exercises, sticking lemon up my nose, you name it. <coughs> Excuse me. So when you see me about to cough, plug your ears, earmuffs. Now, I wanted to really quick say screw being sick for a minute, just tell you guys a story about how me and my best friend attempted to create the world's most advanced artificially, inte artificially artificial intelligence driven robot. <clears throat> I'm talking, we were building the bad guy from Terminator 2. I mean, Terminator 2, uh, Robocop 2. We were going to build that guy, and we poured our hearts into it. And at that time, it would have been the most scientifically advanced robot of its time by far. Leaps and bounds, we're talking the mid to late 90s <clears throat> probably 1998 specifically they didn't have robots like this and we set out to make it and this is that story it all started me and my best friend we were wandering in the woods and we found a metal bucket some metal rods and like some tin cans all around it and we looked at this pile <clears throat> I'm 10 years old, my best friend, he's 11. We look at this pile and he goes like, what if we built a robot? At which point we were like, yes. So we immediately went searching the woods for more parts. And we went around, and we found all this scrap metal and all this stuff and we made a pile <clears throat> with the bucket. And the cans and the poles. We added way more tin, just sheets of metal, bars. We had a pile of metal ready. And then we went to school and we rode the bus. And on the bus, we talked about how we're going to get this robot up and running. That's all we talked about. And then the big day came. We walked up to our pile. And we stood there. <clears throat> and we thought, we thought about the first step because our first step in building a robot was the hardest and that's when my best friend looked at me and he said what if we shit on it now you might think I would have laughed at him or thought him crazy but hear me out there's human DNA in poop this is the logic so if you poop on this pile of metal, that human DNA is going to seep down into the metal. Maybe, just maybe, one in a trillion chance, <clears throat> that metal is going to soak in the human DNA in the poop. And it's going to become sentient. It's going to pull itself together and become a fully fleshed robot. So I looked at my friend and I was like, what if we poop on it? Because at that point, we decided the best place to start was if we're going to poop, we might as well pee. So we stood shoulder to shoulder and we just doused the entire pile of metal in just a thick coat of urine. urine. <clears throat> and uh, once we were done, my friend was like, okay, I'm going to turn around and look away. So we did. 
turned his back, and I leaned over that pile, and I pooped on it. Yeah, I did. And then it was his turn. So I turned my back, and unbeknownst to me, he pulled his pants and underwear down, squatted, and then he proceeded to poop directly into his own pants. I don't know. He'd never pooped outside before. I don't think he knew that he was stick supposed to stick his butt away from his pants. Because when he pooped, he squatted straight down. The poop dropped straight down between his legs. And landed in his underwear that was around his ankles. I turned because he started to cry. <clears throat> and I was like, what happened? And then I saw it. My friend with his pants still around his ankles. And a big turd just hanging all across his pants and his underwear. And I was like, oh no. And he cried and he's like, I'm going to be in so much trouble. And then he started waddling home. And it's a three quarter of a mile walk home. So my man walked three quarters of a mile with his pants around his ankles and a giant turd in the middle. Crying the whole way. And I went home to wipe. In the following days, I used to go and check to see if our robot came to life. And he never did. In fact, the next day, the poop had disappeared. And that's how I learned that bugs eat poop. Bugs eat 